So, question nine. No, it's not. It's question eight. Question eight is, um, is some trigonometry stuff that you have to do some calculus with, which is always fun. Uh, given that y is the natural log of 1 plus sine 4x over cos 4x, show that dy by the x equals that. Now, um, there, are, there are two approaches to this that are equally valid to take as approaches. Um, the first approach would be to say, this is, this is a, a chain rule of a quotient rule. So you could do it as, a, I, I'm not going to do it this way, but it's fine. You could do it as the derivative of the whole thing is natural log of something. So we're going to get 1 over the something, so cos 4x over 1 plus sine 4x, times by the derivative of the inside bit, which is a quotient rule. So that would be v du by dx minus u du by dx other than v squared. And that works. There's quite a bit of algebra to sort out, quite a bit of trick stuff to deal with. It gives you, it gives you the right answer. There's lots of spaces where you can make mistakes, but it's, it's fine. So that's one way of doing it. The way that initially occurred to me to do this, though, was to think, actually, this is the natural log of 1 over cos 4x plus sine 4x over cos 4x. So I rewrote it as being the natural log of sec 4x plus tan 4x, and decided I would look at it like that, because they are both things that I know how to, how to deal with. Uh, we have the formula booklet uh, ready to look at these things. So if we differentiate it, the one of the x is... So the derivative of the whole thing means we've got 1 over sec 4x plus tan 4x, multiplied by the derivative of the inside thing. And if we differentiate that... Well, it is, I am right, it's on the formula book, aren't I, that if you differentiate sec 4x. If you differentiate sec x, it says sec x tan x, doesn't it, in the formula booklet? So that is going to be 4 sec 4x tan 4x. And if you differentiate tan, if you look at the formula booklet, it says sec squared. So if we differentiate tan 4x, we get 4 sec squared 4x. Now that's that hopefully jumps out at you as being a lovely thing to have. Because the top line of that has a really nice common factor of 4 sec 4x. If we take 4 sec 4x out of the common factor, we've got tan 4x plus sec 4x on the top. The bottom line is sec 4x plus tan 4x. We can see that that cancels because it's a common factor of top and bottom. So this is equal to 4 sec 4x. And of course, 4 sec 4x is 4 times 1 over cos 4x. And that's what we were supposed to show that it was. When I, when I did this last summer, that was the method that occurred to me straight away. I then thought, I don't think most of the students are going to spot that. Some people did. But I didn't reckon most would. So then I did it, you can see my, my copy of it, I did it underneath using the quotient rule in there and did it all working out with the quotient rule. And there's a bit of pulling together cos squares and sine squares and getting one and tidying that up, but it, it does work, it gives you the, the right answer. Okay? So that's the first part of that question, which was four marks. The second part of the question, I was quite pleased to see how many people actually took the first part of this. And, and did a good job with it, because a lot, a lot of people seem to recognise that here we've got two fractions added together. And um, there's probably not an awful lot we can do with those two fractions until we combine them as a single fraction. So the first thing to do with the part two is to take our integral, um, I can't see it anymore, what was it? Cos 2x over cos 2x plus sine 2x and then uh, we're subtracting, we're adding sine 2x over cos 2x minus sine 2x. Right, so uh, the first instinct, if I copied that right, is to put that all over a common denominator. 
to get the common denominator, we'd have to multiply by the, the denominators. So the common denominator is cos 2x plus sine 2x times cos 2x minus sine 2x. Now that, that field, as soon as we write that, hopefully we feel reassured that something is going well here, because that's difference of two squares, and we know that there's something you know, we can play around with, we can get somewhere with that. The top line is going to have to be cos 2x, oh I've put a bracket in, cos 2x times cos 2x minus sine 2x, plus the sine 2x times that denominator, so cos 2x plus sine 2x. That's all a bit messy, but we'll get there with it if we just are really careful about what's going on. Uh, let's deal with that bottom line straight away because that bottom line is looking good to me. That is cos 2x times cos 2x, so that's cos squared 2x minus sine squared 2x because it's difference of two squares in a plus b over a minus b. On the top, what have we got? We've got cos squared 2x minus cos 2x sine 2x and then we've got a plus sine 2x cos 2x, so that bit's going to cancel out and <coughs> plus sine squared 2x my fraction wasn't long enough but there we are and it's all there it still it feels like we're not getting very far but hopefully we can see this is actually going to start to resolve itself quite quickly now so the top line of that fraction, can I do this all in one go? The top line of that fraction is, is just one, isn't it? Because that is cos squared 2x plus sine squared 2x, that's one. And then that bit cancels itself out. We've got minus cos 2x sine 2x plus cos 2x sine 2 So the top line is one. Which is great. The bottom line is cos squared a minus sine squared a. And our core three identities tell us that cos squared a minus sine squared a is cos 2a. That's cos 4x. So all of that has resolved itself down to being cos 4x. If only we knew how to integrate cos 4, 1 over cos 4x. And up here, we, we differentiated something to get 4 over cos 4x. So, this integral is a quarter of the integral of 4 over cos 4x. And if we, if we integrate 4 over cos 4x, we get the natural log, what was it? Can't see the question anymore. We get the natural log of 1 plus sine 4x over cos 4x. And that is your done. Um, that, I thought it was quite interesting, wasn't it, how um, you had to work your way through all of that. Uh, it was really nice to, to reach that point. Um, oh, plus C. Thanks, Zach. Yeah, good spot. You're doing well there. And that's maths with a constant of integration.